It could have been something as simple as a tiny leak where as they were descending, a small amount of water was able to find a little pinhole. And once it started, it would have simply caused the process of the unit becoming a little structurally unsafe and boom, it just crushes. Right. Butch reports have it that the submersible lost contact some 12 and a half thousand feet below the surface. Now at that depth, just how much pressure are we talking about and how would that pressure affect the human body? Would it, would it have been quick? It would have been, if you said right now that something, someone dropped something behind you and you went, what was that? You would have never finished saying the W portion of what? It was. It would have been almost instantaneous. It happened so fast. It would be. What was that noise? You did never finish thinking. What was that noise? And it's over. So at least we could uh, take some comfort in the fact that uh, it would have been at least painless, or they don't know what hit them. Uh, this would have been painless. The, according to the experts that I've spoken to about the implosion, it's like a flash fire. It's so fast. It's, it happens. It's over, and. You never knew it was coming. Well, Butch, this is the third expedition, I believe, of the Titan. Could it have been also uh, because because of uh, the first two and then now the third that it wasn't able to withstand that kind of pressure because it had already its successful runs in the past? Your thoughts on that? Yes, it's had, it's had a couple of successful runs. It could have been something as simple as in the seal, as you mentioned earlier, the gate, the, the door, there's only one way in, one way out, and that mm. door is sealed from the outside. It could have been a simple leak, a piece of sand that no one noticed. It doesn't take much to cause a, a problem. It could have been the, the fact that the unit has just been weak and it wasn't, it wasn't checked properly. 